Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded SMI circle with the center O fully inscribed uh, in an equilateral uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, D and E are our points of uh, tangency. And moreover, uh, the area of this uh, equilateral uh, triangle has been given to us uh, as 3 times square root of 3 square units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, semicircle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Since we are dealing with this uh, equilateral uh, triangle, that means all uh, these uh, side lengths of this uh, triangle uh, have uh, equal uh, length. Let's assume the side length of this uh, equilateral triangle is lowercase a, then this side length is going to be lowercase a and lowercase a across the board. And now let's recall this crucial fact. The interior angles of an equilateral triangle are uh, 60 degrees each. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 60 degrees. Likewise, this angle is uh, 60 degrees and uh, 60 degrees. And now we know that the area of this uh, equilateral triangle ABC has been given to us as uh, 3 times square root of 3. And now let's recall the area of an equilateral uh, triangle formula. Area of this equilateral triangle is always equal to square root of 3 times uh, A square divided by 4. Where uh, this lowercase a is the side length uh, of this uh, triangle. And now we know that the area of this equilateral triangle has been given to us as 3 times square root of 3. I am going to substitute uh, that value over here. So therefore we can write this one as uh, square root of 3 divided by 4 times a square is going to be equal to 3 times uh, square root of 3. And now we can see this square root of 3 and this square root of 3 they are gone. So therefore we are ended up with the a square divided by 4 equals to 3. And now I am going to multiply both sides by 4 to remove uh, this uh, fraction. And here we can see this 4 and 4 is gone. So therefore a square value turns out to be 12. And now I am going to undo this square by taking the square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our lowercase a value turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of 3 units. So thus the side length uh, of this uh, equilateral triangle turns out to be 2 times square root of 3 units. So therefore uh, this uh, side uh, BC length uh, is going to be 2 times uh, square root of 3. In other words, uh, this uh, segment length uh, BO is going to be half of that one is going to be square root of 3. And likewise, uh, this OC length is going to be square root of 3 as well. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, this center O with this point of tangency D. As you can see in this uh, next step, and now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OD length uh, is our radius uh, of this semicircle. So I'm going to label that one as uh, lowercase r. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this radius lowercase r. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle has got to be our 90 degree angle since uh, this is our radius and this is our tangent line. And now let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, OBD. We know this angle is 60 degrees, uh, this angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore uh, this uh, remaining angle has got to be 30 degrees. And now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, ODB. And now let's recall this uh, famous uh, trigonometric ratio. Sine of theta is always equal to opposite uh, divided by hypotenuse. 
So therefore for our this angle uh, 60 degrees, this side uh, is the opposite uh, side uh, of this uh, angle, whereas uh, this uh, is uh, our hypotenuse. So therefore uh, for sine of uh, our angle uh, 60 degrees, our opposite side is uh, radius lowercase r divided by our hypotenuse is uh, square root of 3. And now we know that uh, sine of uh, 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore I am going to replace that one with uh, its value square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore uh, this could be written as uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 is going to be equal to lowercase r divided by square root of 3. And now I am going to cross multiply. So therefore we can write this one as 2 times our radius lowercase r equals to square root of 3 times square root of 3 is simply becomes a 3. And now I am going to divide uh, both sides uh, by 2 to isolate radius r. So therefore our radius lowercase r turns out to be equal to 3 divided by 2 units. So thus the radius uh, lowercase r of this uh, yellow shaded semicircle turns out to be 3 divided by 2. And here's our uh, final step. Now we are going to calculate uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, semicircle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi times r square where lowercase r is the radius. And since we are dealing with this uh, semicircle, so therefore uh, the area of the semicircle is going to be pi lowercase r square and we are going to divide this one by 2. So therefore the area of this uh, yellow semicircle is going to be pi divided by 2 times the radius of this uh, semicircle is 3 divided by 2 whole uh, square. And now we know that the square of this uh, 3 divided by 2 is going to be 9 uh, divided by 4. So therefore we can write uh, pi divided by 2 times uh, 9 divided by 4. Or if we multiply and simplify that is going to give us uh, 9 times uh, pi divided by 8 uh, square uh, units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, yellow shaded semicircle turns out to be 9 pi divided by 8 uh, square units and that could be approximately equal to 3.5343 square units as well. In other words uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, semicircle is going to be 9 pi divided by 8 uh, square uh, units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.